The Vitamin Shop and Warner Brothers Consumer Products have partnered to launch flavors inspired by superheroes and supervillains of the DC Universe. For more on what the deal means for the company, we're joined by The Vitamin Shop CEO Sharon Lighty. Great to have you here with us today. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me today. Absolutely. So when can I get this uh, this Batman potential uh, <laughs> potential vitamin? I'm, I'm just trying to be Master Wayne, you know? Hey, we'll be happy to send you some. It's a, a really great partnership. We're really excited that uh, DC Comics and our body tech brand are collaborating together to provide a product that our consumers have really found a lot of fun uh, and engaging with them as they continue on their sports nutrition or their health and wellness journey. So it's been really, not only in terms of the product and the quality that we have, but just the fun and the nostalgia factor of being able to connect with them has been great. Sharon, I, my local uh, vitamin shop, I, I've told you before, is in Bayshore, Long Island. I've walked in there recently, it just, the store feels different. Where are you yeah. at? Uh, everything's are laid out differently, new, lots of new brands. Where are you at in the reinvention of, of the vitamin shop? So when you think about at the beginning when I first joined the organization, the store itself was really just kind of a library of a bunch of products. Yes. And over the period of time that uh, we've been reinventing the brand, it has been about solutions and making sure that we can service our consumers with what they're looking for, what their goals are, and making sure that we can make the shopping experience much more uh, much much easier for them, as well as just engaging and, and really integrating the digital experience. So. You know, four years ago, we didn't even talk about vitaminshop.com in the store. Now it's integrated in everything that we do, our loyalty program, the way we connect with consumers, how they engage with us, all the different payment options and pickup options. It's really just become a part of how we engage with consumers today. And what are people's goals, right? Because this stuff kind of, you see trends in healthcare, which are really interesting, whether it's weight loss, whether it's building muscle, where it's other kinds of stuff on the health spectrum. Yeah. Like what's hot right now? Well, I got to tell you, sports nutrition is really hot right now. And a big reason for that is because we're seeing crossover consumers where, where sports nutrition was, had been traditionally for kind of the, the gym person or the guy. Now we're seeing older consumers, we're seeing women uh, really cross over into the sports nutrition category because it's really about lifestyle and health and wellness. And really, actually, we're launching a fit lifestyle category uh, in the new year to really address the broader needs of consumers today. And so for the number of people that you've kind of engaged with over the years, how, how are you seeing that, that demographic that you even go after, that you market towards yeah. shift? Well, you know, at the Vitamin Shop, we've been around since 1977. Our customers have traditionally skewed a little older. Mm -hmm. And what we're finding is because of the way we're merchandising the business and really going after a broader customer base, we're seeing our customer base actually get a lot younger. And so it's really fun to see new consumers get engaged with this legacy brand because of the products we're carrying because they're very, they're on trend and they're right for today's customer. Lucky for you, you don't have to give an earnings call this week, but this has been retail <laughs> earnings season this week and we're hearing a lot of retailers say consumers are cutting back on discretionary purchases. Mm -hmm. Do they view your purchases as discretionary? You know, when COVID happened and people really looked at their health and wellness, one of the things that we're finding is while we, while we see people consolidating trips, we see, still see the basket getting larger and we still see people spending money on health and wellness. I think people have kind of rethought their priorities and certainly in our business, we're finding that they're still very engaged with the category. I know you cover retail more broadly and, and I've been working on a story about organized retail crime. Mm. I've never heard of these things that are happening. What are you seeing out there? Do you see it in your stores and how can retailers more broadly prevent this from happening? Well, fortunately for us, we are not seeing it at the vitamin shop, but it's certainly something we talk about at the, um, the international level. The National Retail Federation is very involved in this, and unfortunately, it is an issue out there that retailers are having to deal with. Are people just running into a store and just taking things? Is that... It's, it's a whole combination of a lot of things. It happens. It can happen in the store. It can happen on the dock. It can happen in transit. Uh, but it is a, it's, an, it's an organizational, a real challenge for a lot of retailers today. How are you further insulating Vitamin Shop from some of the emerging players that have tried to disrupt the, the vitamin industry or the sector by being able to just ship it directly to your house, keep you from having to go into a store, a, a pill pack, uh, even some of the larger retailers have moved in that direction too. There's no question the category is incredibly fragmented. If we, in our business, one of the things that we're most proud of is the quality, innovation, and expertise that we offer consumers. One of the things that is very much our secret sauce uh, at the vitamins, vitamin shop is our people. And we are today the only scalable retailer in our space that provides you the quality and the information from 
uh, educated health enthusiasts, who that's who our associates are, where they can provide you with the solutions that you have. In addition, uh, connecting it with a web experience and making sure that uh, we are always on top of the latest trends, uh, educating our consumers is a big part of what makes us different. In addition, how we've connected to the digital experience. There's no question that the Amazons of the world and being able to uh, the innovation, the innovators out there in the world that are really uh, only direct to consumer, mm -hmm. that that is a, a challenge for us. But we we really try to connect the entire customer experience and make sure that we're where the customer is always. Um, what about competition, though, in the market? Because, mm -hmm. like, for just to think of an off the cuff example of, of my family, my husband's a big fan of Athletic Greens. He's mm -hmm. recently come around to that. I don't think you guys sell that. We one. do. We do sell it, but he doesn't get it from you guys. He gets it from. I don't well, know how Amazon or whatever. Well, we'll have right? to change that. Well, but, I, but, but how do but how do you change that? He's already got his channel, right? Yeah. People, if they're looking for a certain product and they already have channels that they're shopping through, they just do that. It sounds like you're targeting more people who want advice, I guess. Well, we're also making sure that we have the right trend, right products for the consumer of today, and we do a lot of work through social channels. We're in all on all the social uh, social channels out there. We really moved into TikTok quite a bit. And we've really leveraged influencers in the category, again, to reach consumers where they are. In some cases, I'm not sure where your husband likes He's to shop. He's not on TikTok, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we will try to reach uh, consumers in different channels to make sure that we can continue to tell the story of why you'd want to why you'd want to be a consumer of ours. All right, I gotta, I gotta find some of the uh, fitfluencers that are talking vitamin shop on TikTok. I'm not, I'm not even on there enough, but anyway, I'll Well, get you should there. check out Matthias McKinnon. He has, Matthias McKinnon. Uh -huh, he's right our right body there. tech uh, influencer. He's over two, two million followers. Wow. Yeah. And uh, he's pretty cool. And he has some great videos uh, dressed up as a superhero. Uh, talking about our DC Comics uh, That's what I want. collaboration. You, you must have seen my Halloween photos. I've already <laughs> done the dressing up part. I just need to do the the actual work here. Sharon Lighty, CEO of Vitamin Shop, joining us here on set. Thanks so much. Yeah, thanks for, ha thanks for having me. Thank you.